Welcome back to the Hat and Hair Academy. My name's Jonathan, and today we're going to get back into the swing of things by continuing our education with John Hugard's complete course in modern magic. We're still in the coins, and today we're going to learn three palms and a vanish. So stick around. All right, welcome again. My name's Jonathan. Today we're gonna learn three different coin palms. They're very easy so we can get them in real quick. The first one is gonna be a simple finger palm, like that. The other one is gonna be something a little bit more difficult. That's a thumb palm. And then we're also gonna learn my favorite, the downs palm. Those are the three palms we're going to learn, and then we're also going to learn a classic, Vanish. And those are the four things we're going to learn today, so let's get right into it. The first one is a finger palm, and it's very, very simple to do. It's very, very natural. Uh, you're going to get the coin into your fingers right there, and then you're just simply going to slightly curl them. And as you can see, my fingers grip onto the coin right like that. So now, when I hold my hand like this, I can gesture, I can say, watch, and I can pull a coin out of thin air. It's very, very easy. It's very, very hidden. It's probably the most underused palm, in my opinion, uh, because right there, you can show your hand completely empty and then magically produce a coin out of it. A thumb palm is just simply clipping it in your thumb, right like that. And to get into that, you just rest it on the tips of your fingers right there and you squeeze it in and clip on. And I'll do that again. You just squeeze it in and grab onto it. Now the thing with thumb palm is you don't want to get what's called the vanishing thumb effect, which is where you hold on to it too low and now you look like you only got four fingers on this hand. Your thumb's vanished. So you want to kind of hold it a little higher so it should be kind of at a 45 degree angle coming out from the crotch of your thumb. So now you can show your hands, all five fingers, one, two, three, four, five, and then you can produce it. That's the thumb palm. So practice that one. It's not my most favorite. I do use it from time to time, but it's not my most favorite. The last one, I really like this one. This is called the Downs Palm, and it was made famous by a magician by the name of T. Nelson Downs. And this allows you to show virtually your entire hand empty. And then with just a little wave, produce a coin at your fingertips. Now, this is similar to the thumb palm in that you're holding on to it with your thumb, but you're holding on to it in an edge type grip. So very similar to the oblique palm, where you're holding on to it on its, on its edge like that. This, you're holding on to it in the crotch of your thumb, like that. Now, in The Complete Course in Modern Magic by Jean Hugard, he calls this the in the fork thumb palm. That's a lot to, to say. It was popularized by T. Nelson Downs. So in magic, we call this a Downs palm, okay? So this is a Downs palm. It looks very convincing. And if you're quick, you can even show both sides of your hands by doing a little flourish. And if you do it, you can go, hey, look, nothing there, nothing there, there's a coin. Okay? To get into it, you hold on to the, the coin clipped between your two top two fingers, and you just simply bring it over into the crotch of the thumb and grab onto it, holding onto it with your hand right there and the edge of your thumb. So that's simply how you get into Down's palm. Now, for my most favorite part here, a vanish. We've been practicing slights, we've been doing all that, we haven't actually learned a real magic trick yet. So we're going to learn a real magic trick, and this is a very simple, um, classic coin vanish. It's called the tourniquet pass, or the French drop, however you want. To, uh, to call it, I call it a French drop, okay? So you're gonna hold the coin in position with your thumb and your middle finger basically holding it like you're showing it, like you're gonna go, hey, look at that. 
but the other fingers come up and form a little screen, okay? And then you tilt your hand down so that everyone can see it. With this hand, you're going to come over and you're going to apparently grab it. You're going to take the coin and make it vanish. Now what happens in the background, so you can see, uh, it's hard to tell. We'll do it on the side here. What happens is, as you're holding it, your thumb goes underneath the coin, and your fingers act as a screen to shield the coin from the spectator's view. When that happens, you simply drop this coin into finger palm. That's why we learned finger palm, because now you're in a perfect position to make it vanish. You drop it into finger palm, and you don't close this hand. Don't do that. That's bad. Just leave it open. Take the hand that supposedly has the coin, and don't close it tight like a fist, because we don't hold money like this. Hold it a little cattywampus, so to speak, like you've got something. Nothing, but like you got something. And you let this image, and this is what it looks like to them, you let this image right here burn into their mind. As you're not looking at it though, you're looking over here. Psychologically, they see this hand empty. You can even turn your hand over and say, watch, okay? So you don't need to close your hand at all. You can show this hand completely empty. It's one of my more favorite vanishes. It's a classic. It's easy, it does take practice, it does take practice. The goal is to make it smooth and fluid, okay? That's the goal. And to make sure that that coin doesn't fall into like the palm of your hand, or um, off your hand, that's happened to me, but to fall into finger palm right there, because that allows you to immediately show this hand empty. That's important. It's a good psychological trick because too often when we're learning, we do this. Which hand is it? Well, we immediately know it's over here because this hand doesn't look natural. This one is supposed to have a coin, so it looks fairly natural, but this one doesn't. Remember, pause, pause right there, right there. As you draw your attention over here, there's no coin in here. That's what the spectator think. There's no coin in here. They think it's over here. So if you pause, you show this hand empty, you show it empty. That's the true magic, because now, when it's not here, the audience is really stunned because they have no idea where the coin is because they saw this hand empty, they saw this hand empty, where did it go? So practice those. Practice the finger palm, the downs palm and the thumb palm, and then take your time, practice, really practice the French drop or the tourniquet pass. It is such an essential uh, vanish in coin magic that you'll do yourself a lot of, uh, you'll, you'll do yourself a big favor by just mastering that. It's a classic for a reason. Give it its due by really focusing on it. I love the classic. Uh, vanish, the French drop, the tourniquet pass, whatever you want to call it, it is, when you get it, it looks really, really good. Until next time, thanks for joining me here at the Hat and Hair Academy. My name's Jonathan. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on these videos. They really help me out. And also, if you know someone that is looking to learn magic, send them a link to this video, and we can learn magic together. Also, if you are on Instagram, or on Twitter, you can follow me on Instagram at Hat and Hair, or on Twitter at Hair Academy. Again, thanks for joining me here at the Hat and Hair Academy. My name's Jonathan.